I think one of the best ones has to be before Pro Tour Philadelphia when uh, Conley Woods rented us a off-season ski lodge in the middle of nowhere in like, you know, like Pennsylvania where we were just there for like a week and a half and it was just a lot of fun. I mean, it was just like, couldn't really go anywhere. We were just like testing this like pretty big house and I don't know, we just had a lot of fun. We had to cook meals. We got, uh, we played water polo of all things because they had a pool. Like it, it was just, I don't know, it, it was just a kind of unique experience. This year, I got to play in uh, two straight team GPs with uh, Luis Scott Vargas and Eric Froelich. And I've been on a lot of different teams over the years. I haven't really been the, a player that was just firmly committed to one team. And I think it's the best team I've ever played on and probably the best three-man team that's ever been. I mean, I know that Phoenix Foundation's uh, Pro Tour wins were incredible, but Kai, Dirk, Marco, me, Luis Frell, I'm taking us. The craziest one and my favorite was uh, Grand Prix Nashville because uh, uh, it was me, Jacob Wilson, and Jesse Hampton. And uh, Jesse like had some flight issues and got snowed in and had to drive in the snow for the first time in his life because he's from Seattle, six hours to make it to the tournament. But he, and he got there right as we finished deck building, so he wasn't even part of that, was on zero sleep. <laughs> And you know, we, we managed to make day two somehow despite that, and then won the tournament from there. We merged with Channel Fireball and tested with them, and the result of that was very uh, narratively appropriate. Like, it was like you had scripted it. Uh, Matt Nass was coming off having just developed a couple of very good decks uh, in Rally and Hardened Scales in a row. Um, and Sam obviously is, is, a, is a known brewer. Um, and as soon as the teams merged, and then the end result was that ideas that both of them had been working on separately, we combined right before the PT, um, and that ended up becoming the Cryptolith right deck that our team played to pretty good success and managed to put uh, Luis in the top eight with at that PT. So my favorite team experience has actually been the last two Pro Tours since Team Ultra added the Channel Fireball guys. Basically every Pro Tour is just a giant goof off session, we're all just having a blast, laughing the entire time. Of course we're testing for a pro tour, so there's a bunch of serious work going on, but like most of these guys are just way better than I am, so it's just a constant learning process, just trying to pick their brain on tons of different things and give my feedback and guidance where I can on certain things. I've been able to kind of like rejoin the community and rejoin this kind of awesome atmosphere. Playtesting with these guys, it's just a, an amazing kind of experience. And it's what I relish, it's really what I think would I miss when I'm not playing with it. Uh, so the best team moment for me is just working the other building decks before the Pro Tour. Uh, the most fun I have playing Magic is definitely figuring out a new format when there are all these possibilities and they're all exciting. Working with Justin, he tries to be like extremely grounded and realistic and I'll like play a deck and have a couple good results with it and just get very excited. And he's like, we, you know, we don't know if this is any good. And I'm like, look, enthusiasm is part of my process. I'm just gonna build something and play with it and get excited. And if I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna be depressed and defeated and not productive. Before we even came out here to test with everyone else, we had like 30 different standard decks built because whenever it would be like, okay, well, let's test, I'd be like, okay, but I wanna try this new thing. Okay, but I wanna try this new thing. And it would always be like, okay, we have to make two new decks before we can play any magic. Um, and we just ended up with a giant pile of deck boxes very quickly. What I like the most about it is just going into a tournament and all of us doing well. We just had our like, Pro Tour Paris where we had Cobblade and Rise of the Eldrazi in Puerto Rico where we had this really cool uh, black, or red, green, blue, just Oracle Mandaya, Lotus Cobra, like Jace the Mind Sculptor, Comet Storm, just tons of stuff going on. And, and that was a pretty cool cool deck. And then we also had, uh, I guess, the Worlds back in 2011. My favorite like team experience had to have been uh, Worlds in San Francisco, where it's like my local tournament, so like all my family is there watching me as I top eight the tournament alongside three teammates. That was just super awesome. I had an awful lot of people staying at my house um, for testing. Probably this one, um, just because I get to work online, um, which is convenient with my job. And then there's a, enough people in Madison that I you know, can still test live. Yeah, so I was on the US national team a couple of years ago, and Owen Turtenwald, Neil Oliver, and Isaac Sears were my teammates. And there was this one round, we were playing for top eight contention in the World Magic Cup, and Owen has to win game three for us to make the top eight, and he's got like five minutes to win the green-black constellation mirror, and it was a really grindy mirror. Those, matches, those games typically took like 20 plus minutes, 
He plays as fast as I've ever seen anyone play Magic, and we barely get there. Super exciting. Um, that match got me back on the Pro Tour because we had made it to the top eight. So just an amazing experience. Way back in the day, I uh, teamed with some guys from Florida slash my friend Oren Beasley. And you know that, those were kind of the guys I worked with when I got my first Pro Tour top eight in Nagoya. And I still have teamed with them in Team Grand Prix since then. So you know, the last two we played in, I, we got top four. And uh, you know, qualifying them for a Pro Tour when we top four was pretty awesome to get to play with them again. So. Grand Prix San Jose. This was the Team Grand Prix with the Pork Bun Oath, uh, myself, Efro, and Luis. Uh, you know, I had two Hall of Famers on my team, you know, fortunate enough to have them on my team, and I wasn't qualified. This is, um, I wasn't qualified for the second Pro Tour of that season. Um, and I was basically just kind of like happy to just kind of be relevant on the Pro Tour, and uh, just to be able to play with these guys was a good feeling. And the only way for me to qualify for the next Pro Tour, which was one week away, is me winning the entire tournament. He makes things. Everything's in, and that's and gonna that's do it! The end. wins! Oh my god, Polchion just qualified for the PT. He just qualified! It was the only result that would get him there. He and we got there, and it was just insane. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, just dream come true. And that qualification gave me just enough points to actually um, give me gold. It put me back on the gravy train because I got those three pro points I barely made uh, had the had the enough pro points to qualify for the pro tour and uh, here I am.